everybody hello it's a wonderful weekend and um today on oche kitchen we're talking about boundaries society and boundaries which at the end of the day becomes double standards for some set of people okay but before we go into that let's hear the clo moment sex is cool but if i can't hit you up when i'm emotional and discuss feelings with you, then you don't deserve my body. Okay. Bottom Beautiful. Line, bottom line, you can lose your love. Yeah. You can lose your girl from lack of communication, lack of attention, or just disrespect. You don't have to cheat to start losing your girl. Okay, moving on. It's a good one today. I love Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> I want to shine all around. Yeah, it's, it's, it is so important. <laughs> so talking about these um, boundaries, they are more like unwritten laws guarding people. Okay. And um, I would like to give an example with myself. There's this thing about people when they see married women. It's as if I don't know how to put it, but what I'm going to say is some people would never dash you shishi just because you're married. And that is bad though, because we married exactly. women, we need we need shishi. Exactly. Like every other human being. Do you get? I mean, the way that um if okay, like now Bim Bim just graduated. I'm sure some people knew she was a student. Ordinarily, people would have been, oh, she's a student, they'll give five naira, oh, take for transport, oh, buy bread, you're a student. But if I ask her now, I don't think she got any support as a student from up to five people. Why? Just because she's married. Like me, since I got married, nobody- Bim, Bim, listen, we're talking about you. If I must stop distracting Bim Bim. The only time somebody dashed me money since I got married, this is 22 years, was when I had my last child. Okay, and it was my husband's elder brother. He was coming from the US. He stopped over to see us in Paris. And he gave me $500, uh, sorry, 500 euros. I was ecstatic. And I said, it's, I was even excited because of the amount, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, for the baby? He said, no, for you. Oh. Honestly, and I can't forget. It's so difficult for me to forget, okay? So your baby is 15 years old, Abby? Exactly. Because our, our kids are the same age. Yes. So, and since 15 years ago, nobody uh, does dash even $100. I'll even say to some people, man, I am broke. And some would open their mouth and say, ah, now wow, if not be saying you married woman now, she be for don't find you something. Yes, I've heard that several times. If somebody can even say to me, oh, you, um, I don't, you don't look broke, or I, I don't believe you. At least I know that when you come out like this, looking all glamorous, people might think you have plenty. So that would even be more understandable for me that, okay, you don't look it. If someone says, oh, you don't look broke, but you're claiming broke, that would even make more meaning than somebody telling me, simply because I am a married woman, I've been banned from getting monetary gifts or at least 
substantial things. For me, they tell me, um, oh, you're always traveling. How can you be broke when you're always traveling? And they don't know what planning is. Yeah, I tell them everything I, I every, every travel I see, I don't just do it outright. It's, you know, it's a planned event. Like, you exactly. know, I pay over time, yeah. And what they forget too is that you are working. So you can't just mm -hmm. up and leave. I mean, you have to take permission from work. That alone should tell them that there's a sort of planning. But people just want to be by my own myopic and then you know be blind to the reality i i really want to understand why is that okay and then like i said all these unwritten boundaries and laws they now form some sort of double standards yeah if i see someone who is married and um, tells me he's broke i don't care if i have i'll give you man woman unless i don't have Okay, I can just check my account and check, okay, can I squeeze out 2,000 naira for this person? I don't care if you're married or not. So if, if it is okay for a married man to get that support from me because he just calls me his friend, why is it not okay for a married woman to get the same kind of support? Which leads us to the very first question, which is what is your take on getting, on gifting married women with substantial amount of money or quality gifts just because. And um, Vinta, were you listening? No, she was sleeping. I know, I know Benson's take. I was. <laughs> so I was going to ask Vinta. Vinta, what do you think? What's your take? You're on mute. Well. For me, you know, it's true what you said. People would naturally feel because you're married, you have. They don't even know how you're surviving. But, you know, I've just lived with it. Like when I tell people, I don't know, I don't have any of my account numbers off and because nobody dashes me money. Thank you. They'll just laugh. I say, yes. Nobody that she's me, man. So why would I bother my brain with my account number? I don't have anyone. If you ask me about account number, I'll start checking my app mm -hmm. to get out the account number or a paper. Or oh, check where you saved it as a, a contact. That's what I do. <laughs> ah, I, I, for years, I have mine off the top of my head. Though. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> one zero one zero zero two seven two two zero four seven eight four. Can you Fargo, see him? Wells Fargo. Enter. <laughs> no, for Wells Fargo, I just use my email address, so that's fine. No, before email address now, before Zell, before Zell, I oh. knew this before Zell. Zell was like five, six years ago, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, Bim Bim, that, that you have, you shared the same experience. How does it make you feel? Before now, I just feel, I mean, you don't even want to know how I'm living. Okay. Mm -hmm. Be before now, I I didn't like it. It was as if, I mean, yes, I'm married. So because I'm married, I don't, I won't have friends again. You can't share things neutrally than always referring you're married, you're married, you're married. But with time, I just got used to it and I started living with it. I don't even ask anybody for anything again. Yeah, yeah I don't ask anybody for anything. But because of my position in my family, my elder sisters still give me things. They still treat mm -hmm. me like their younger sister, mm -hmm. like, you know, but my brothers, they don't. <laughs> There's even, when I was in, I, 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 I was in my cousin, I now told my brother ah, that, I mean, I need some money to come. He said, mm, which one complete what? I'm sure that bros have paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> my, my my uncle still it will make I, I saw my uncle go ahead sorry but when they need need you provide just I, I don't have that problem of um i don't remember somebody telling me you're married they tell me i travel even my uncle came to the u.s i think um two months ago may i went to see him in, in manhattan 
So he wanted to buy me food. I said, Uncle, no, I just ate at work. I just came to see you, you know. So as we were, um, as, she, as he was escorting me towards the car, he gave me what's up for I said, Uncle. So I said to my aunties, oh, Uncle thinks I'm still IJ3, that little girl. So I still get money from like uncles and, you know, <laughs> friends, friends who tell me, like, if we do, if you talk about being broke amongst friends, they're like, ah, you're always traveling. That's what I always hear. Ah, can't be broke now. You're always traveling. Perhaps they don't really want to say to you because you're married. So they're just covering up with you always traveling. But <laughs> I know that I've been told before that, ah, if I find you something, but you know, say you're a married woman. And it annoys me. I won't tell you lies. It annoys me. Because as far as I'm concerned, the way I would support a friend who is broke, why can't somebody support me like that? Why does it be, have to be my being married does not automatically make me less human or less prone to being in a fix. Mm. I'm surprised in Nigeria. Where, I'm surprised where, in Nigeria. Where, That's an where, excuse. Where, where, well, I think, well, I think, well, I think it, it goes two ways. The thinking of, the thinking of, uh, like, I, or it's a thing of the mind, like they are thinking that you are married. Yes, they are thinking, oh yes, you are married because your, 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 your husband is supposed to cut up for all your responsibilities. So, but the issue is the society, the society we are coming from, are they open minded? Because it will be like, ah, bros, you they give married woman money. This one way they give married woman money. Oh, waiting, hope we never begin to chase somebody wife. That's the mm -hmm. key. That's another one. Yeah. They will say you are, you are, husband is supposed to cater. Why mm -hmm. is it that way? Because when it comes to burial, that oh, mm -hmm. is a man, okay? Mm -hmm. You understand? So just likewise, the man, the husband who might not be buoyant enough all the time to cater for this woman. So why can't you support? No, I you like can. I said, like like I said, yeah. the basic the basic problem is our thinking, because one. As a hand on your the married, there are things you don't give to her again because H tomorrow it might be a problem. But that's unfair. Somebody, 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 somebody might go behind you to talk to your husband and say, Ah, do you know that this person still gives your wife's money? Hey, yeah, drawn them now. Yeah, drawn why the person. Yeah, but, 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 but sometimes, but sometimes the men will not ask you. They will just be waiting for a day. There will be such issue. You will now see that question come from nowhere. So sometimes I think they are trying to not to meddle into <laughs> meddle into uh a, a, the is it, it, like if you like now. If you have a younger sister that is not married, two mm -hmm. of you, Nada Nego, she will get more money than you. Mm. She will get more money than you. Because one, they will so tell you. Marriage automatically make me a handicap. Or marriage no, automatically. No, 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 not that he made you a handicap. of people not, that can be taken no, care of. No, no, not that he made you a handicap. The issue is very simple. They see it because they see it because you are married. Wait, this thing is re echoing back. I former, I've muted her. Go ahead. Okay. So they see you that the response, your everything around you, everything you are supposed to do. Because I see, uh, the man shall leave the mother and father and cleave unto the wife, and they shall be one. Now, the, even the same Bible says, he that does not provide for his household is an He's infidel. Is an infidel. Is an infidel. Now, all those things. They but that's see, a wrong quotation because so many people, so many people can't find jobs. So many people no, 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 so many no, people no, 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 no. That's why. That's so, why. That's why. That's why. No, no, it's not a wrong quotation. You know why it's not a wrong quotation? Although, although it's not good. It, make, it will you make you lose your self-confidence. Can, can I tell you something? Go ahead. Now, if I know that my monthly pay is 30,000 naira. I need to make you understand that what I earn is 30,000 naira. Let's plan our life around this. Around this. 
this is what I've been able to save since I began to work. So let's plan our life around this money. But the problem sometimes is that men don't tell their wives to be the right, the, the truth about them. They don't tell them. So you, the wife believes, okay, Nguano, we go to we go out, he pays for this, okay, which is Nadia going on. But Imahana, what he's doing that moment is just to impress you. But mm -hmm. the issue is the, to impress you. But if you tell the person, this is what I earn, can we manage our life on okay. this, what I earn? Okay. Um, Benson, uh, you are talking about an ideal situation, okay? But I want to be realistic. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that a man would lay bare his um, pay sleep and they live within their means. But they would call the wife on the phone and say, could you please send something? Grandma has swallowed a nickel. And she's in a fix. And whatever no. she has been able to save, she sent home because grandma swallowed needle. Mm -hmm. And she still has needs. Mm -hmm. Okay, she might want to make her head. Nobody was flamboyant. Nobody was extravagant. Okay, but life happened. Why yeah. would she on so, be on such so, on so, such so, on such so, situation? Call a friend just see, because she's see, a married on, woman. On such so, so situation, when you tell when you tell when you tell your friends, look, I have this issue, and I don't have money. Those yeah. that are your those that are your friends will send mm -hmm. you money. They will send you money. I agree, Benson, because you are an exceptional friend. You know, when I asked this question, I didn't want to call you because no, I said <laughs> I know your. Okay. Call me on what? On this particular thing. I didn't want to, I didn't want you to answer because I know your team. <laughs> 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 Have you been collecting money? Why is your we are family? I've not been collecting, that's my anger. Um, I go to say something. something. Yeah. Oh, Mama, go ahead. Why are you defending him and saying he's exceptional in terms of money spending? Now, when we do cry, I got woman. Yes. <laughs> All right. Why? Why most men, like we know, I don't know if it's been said or maybe I, maybe I missed it, is an ego thing for the I man. Think so. And again, apart from that ego, why would anybody give my wife? You might not be giving, you no. Know? And not every gifting has an ulterior motive. That's exactly. another thing we have. That's what the, world, the world needs to understand. Yeah, not every gifting has an ulterior motive, right? Uh -huh. Then some of us women, in order to protect our partners, put up that front. I'm okay. I don't need it. So even when they need, they will not receive it. They will not receive it. And some, some human beings, out of just, uh, I can hold on, out of that mentality, she's married. Why would I give her money? What for? Let her husband mm -hmm. give her. It shouldn't be that spirit of friendship, that spirit of gifting, that spirit of helping each other should always be there, irrespective of what circumstances they find themselves in, whether they're married or not. And we all know it in reality, not everybody that is married gets full support from their spouses, both men and women. So it shouldn't, I, I don't see it as a nice thing. Because mm -hmm. this again goes back to children from rich, what we call rich families. You find out that during Christmas times, back in the days, I don't know if it happens now, people will come to families and they will give you five, five naira or one, one pound and things like that for Christmas. But those children of chiefs and barristers, they don't get it. Because in your head is a child of a big man. But that thing, it's something that gives joy to that child at that time. And for us that get it as adults as well, being gifted makes you happy, makes you feel exactly. appreciated, it makes you know that somebody cares. It doesn't matter how much it is, it doesn't matter what situation it is. We are very, just using a disclaimer, we're talking about gifting without ulterior motive, not exactly. when you're being paid for something. Mm -hmm. So we still encourage it. So it should go, and that's my take on it, and that's what I know. Um, Thank you. Okay. Yeah, to piggyback to piggyback on what Ifoma said, some people, some men will not give you because they'll be like, 
I don't want anybody to give my wife, so I'm not going to give another person's wife. And some people will not give because if I'm giving you, you have to give me something. Mm. Okay, um, Ferdinand, let me ask one more person. The individual with a very bad, bad yeah. mind. Ferdinand, um, can you take that question for me? Can I say something? Just 30 seconds. So, like the scripture says, to the pure, all things are pure. So the impure, okay. all things are impure. Yeah, so, so let the pure speak. Oh, you, so you have to know who you're dealing with, you exactly. know, and we're wired differently. The way women see gifts is different from the way men see. operate. Some people are pure. Some people, there's a motive, you know, and you have to understand your partner. Some men that are, that are very private, some people don't mind. Okay, someone said, a, somebody's husband came and said, please, he went to a man and said, I need to start a business for my wife. You know, and the, the guy said, I, I might as well marry your wife if you want me to start a business. For oh, you. wow. So, so you have to be careful who you're collecting <laughs> money from, why the it, person well, is giving you. Also, also I, um, I understand what you're saying, that you have to know who you're with and then know who you go to for such support. Okay. To believe you, me, it, it, there's nothing, I'm, at least I'm not a child. So when a guy likes me extra, I can decode. Do you get it? In the shop. In the shop. <laughs> At least for an extent now. For an extent, I can decode. And those okay. kind of people, I would not ask for any support from. Because already this guy wants something. So don't go and be fueling and, and fanning the embers of the flame. Those are not the I will ask, go. Some people don't come like that. That means that person yeah. is a learner. Some people are... Uh, Profs in the matter. Like I said, so they won't I just come out like that. Have, so have to be this was like two years ago, okay? Because you know how I always take my morning walks. And one of the days I was walking, he happened to join me. And he says to me, wow, that I, he is so broke and that um, he would have loved to buy shawarma for his twins. I didn't say anything. But when, when I went home, because I didn't make any promises because I didn't even know what I had. But when I got home, I checked my app and I knew I could afford to send something. So I said, were you, I now messaged him. I said, were you serious about the shower man? He said, yes, now. I said, okay, send your account number. And I sent something, you know? And when he bought the shawarma for the twins, he took a picture and sent it to me. I was so happy. Those are the kind of things that I'm talking about. It doesn't have to be somebody you, you are too close to. But, you know, just because we are all human beings, for me, can, it's, can it's, I ask one question before you finish? Does your husband your time, your, she's <laughs> eating into your time, Mama? I know it's okay. Does, does your husband know that you gave that money to that man? Did you start discussing with him? Table no. shaker. Table shaker. I didn't know because it's my money. I didn't use. I didn't take it from the family um, feeding allowance. Account. Okay, well, that's another important, important factor. Who do money. you tell what you're going to do? That's where no, the problem no, sits. For my personal okay. money, he doesn't care. Lele, what lele, mom. I use it for. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Just, for you to tell me, did I ask him? He's as good as me. I want to buy it. Now you go talk everything finish. Allow us to talk now. No, 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 no. I'm explaining to Mama. For this kind of thing, it's like saying, honey, can I buy lipstick? Okay. This is my personal money that I can use for anything reasonable within my jurisdiction. Oh, yes. And that was exactly what I did. He can, oh, he can, he can, he can not advise, say you never send money to Ramon. Now I don't want uh, this one. This one that has sucked my blood. I don't even want to ask you can any. Oh, the person alone when you went. Since you left St. Joseph's, you have not been taking care of me. For real? As, he's, so, he's downstairs in my house. This boy has been in my house all week, eating and doing all sorts of things. He's downstairs. This right now. Not taking care of him. He's yes. downstairs right now. Yes. yes. <laughs> Since this week, he moved okay. in without notice, so. He's your brother, right? He's your baby brother. Uh, okay. So I'm right, just telling on something. Mm -hmm. But you guys um, didn't get to Mama, ask your second question. No, no, wait, though. I want to speak in the aspect of giving money and not giving money. Mm. First of all, it depends on, like someone said, who you're dealing with. 
if your so theme to not run speed when you saw you buy him. Dancing with fears. I don't even know why she's on the road. And she goes to ask for a favor from one of her exes. You will not say the babe had no correct before you, Maria. You not go take that rubbish. Because what is she trying to portray? After doing all those things all those years, and you have information that you've forgiven her, and she has come home, and she needs money, she can't reach out to you or tell you, and she goes to ask any of her exes. Does that mean she wants to go back to the streets? That's number no. one. Number two, if you have a good relationship with your wife, I don't care if you say one billion like that. So cook off your number for me one year. I will cook. Of course. The Thank you. That's the most important thing. If I give somebody money, if I want to give, I give. If I don't have, I will not give. If I sometimes I tell my wife, sometimes I don't tell her. Sometimes when my female friends reach out to me to ask for a favor, if I don't have, I tell my wife, and she does the favor. You know, it depends on how you manage your relationship with your spouse. There are some people that cannot tell their wives that a female friend is asking for a favor. And there are some ladies that cannot tell their husband, because why? Why is she asking you? Or why is he asking you? Uh, so you people are having human being. You know? <laughs> exactly. But we don't understand it that way. I wake up most mornings and my friends say, I can't, I don't have money, even to eat. And she's, let's say, one of them married woman or single. I don't care. As far as it has to do with food, even if I have 10,000 naira in my account, I'll share it into two and you eat. That's because actually. If you eat today, if you eat today, I don't know if that food or that money I sent to you is what will save me in the next 20 years. Exactly, exactly. But if you're doing, hey, I only have 10,000 naira. Why is she asking me? Let her go and ask all those people she has been to drink. When she has money, she used to drink it, but she used to go out with. That's mm. not the point. The most important thing is that you save the life that way. And tomorrow, exactly. you don't know what. They Th thank you. Uh, thank you, Ike. Ike. You've made a very good point. The intention at the time or your motive for giving and maybe saving a life rather than looking at other frivolities around it. Okay. Um, my affirmation for today is. Time may be difficult. Obviously, that's why we're talking about this gifting and money. Mm -hmm. But it is a short phase of life. Things can get better. Things will get better, definitely. So take that from me. Oh, I'm going good. to my second question for today. What do you think of women who enjoy sex as much as men do and who aggressively chase men? Is it acceptable, or do you think it shouldn't happen? Um, question. The question. The question is, what is your view about women who chase men aggressively, just like men we believe that men do? Just because that's them, that's their nature. They love sex and they want to. I don't have to wait for a man to. Chase me, I'll do the chasing. There are two different things. There are two different things. Loving a, uh, chasing a man and loving sex, they're two different things. Loving sex doesn't mean you're promiscuous. It means you have a high sex urge. So. And who will send you if you're not chasing a man to say to do it? You don't have to chase a man. You can still have one man and still enjoy a lot of sex. So, yeah. so we're talking about the women who does that chasing of men aggressively at the beginning and, and who love sex, yeah. I think it's a question for men to answer, but let me say something. So I have no, a, no, 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 also, also not just oh, for men. No, what I mean, because that, no, what I'm saying is, um, so the women mm. are texting the men, so we need to hear the men's perspective. So I have a particular mm. friend that, um, to, for him, is a turn off for a woman to come on, to, you know, on, to him. So it depends mm. on who you're dealing with. Some people they like it, some people they don't like it. Mm. You understand? Yeah. But the first part of your question is a bit confusing because if it's just for sex, then I don't understand. It should be two questions. Like No, the, the, <laughs> the topic of today is double standards. Okay, if a, a man loves sex, it's okay. He's a man. But if, if a woman loves sex, oh, she's she'll probably be promiscuous. That's what the first part of the question is asking. So the first part of the question is asking, what do you think of women who enjoy sex as much as men do? That's the first part of the question, yeah. 
for people in the relationship, yeah. I think it's okay. That means if they, there's communication, they can handle it. But for people that are chasing, a woman that is chasing a man, that's a different conversation. The men will shoot that is a different different. when a woman chases them. So, yeah. That's the double standard now. That's a that double standard. Yeah. Why is there a man? I don't, I don't chase so. I don't chase so. Oh, I don't, and we're best friends still today. Yeah. I've never chased a man. I don't know. Sorry. I have. I have. I have. Sorry. Go on, IK. Sorry. Um, most of the times, um, if it was when I was in the world, Ha! <laughs> I forgot. I please. I please in heaven, Celestia. <laughs> See, the issue is this: there's nothing wrong with a woman coming after a man. Before I used to think, ah, the woman is promiscuous. The woman is this. The woman is that. No, most of the times you don't know what people are going through. Like, um, I'm going to give you guys an instance. There is a family I know, they are very rich, very rich. But their daughter has an issue. She can sleep with 10 guys in less than one hour. Yeah. As she they go, she goes, see, mm. So what they did was, they got someone, a young guy. The guy didn't have a job. They told him, anywhere this girl is going to follow her, we'll pay you any amount you want, any of the cars you want, anywhere you want to go to, name it, it's yours. The man doesn't think he's going to work where he gets. He doesn't do this work. He never did for months in the company. And the family is not saying that this girl has a medical issue. They are just worried about her not disgracing them in public. So if this girl comes out in public and starts chasing after a man, you will see it as the girl being stupid, but you don't know she's, she has a medical condition that is very bad. And when she starts that Akerewa, now the friends already will be that with the year from gate. So what do you do about this incident? Will you label her as a bad girl? Will you label her as a harlot? Will you label her as what? Like you said, you 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 as a friend, you know she has a medical condition. So that one is a medic. It's something they need to go address. It's like somebody having a mental illness and people yeah. are ignoring it. So yeah, Wapa, I, I can I say something? What this what you the scenario you've just painted or you've told us it's about different, now, yeah. There is a medical issue attached to it. Let's That's exclude that medical side. And yeah. I hope you're not trying to tell us that any woman that chases around men. It has medical condition. <laughs> I hope that's not what you're saying. <laughs> okay, to, if I were to answer, can I answer your question? Go ahead, go ahead. The same way some people will eat too much and some people will just eat a slice of bread. Some people, they'll eat 10 slices of bread and still want to eat. Same thing with libido. Some people have high sex drive. Some people have low sex drive. So the same way God created woman, God created man. The only difference is the um sexual component. So if a man can have high libido, a woman can have, high libido then um so i think i don't think there's anything wrong with that if you see somebody at times at times people see you and they judge you they're like oh my god i can't approach this girl you know what i mean and if you like them you can still you can by the time you nudge the guy that you like him you know you see him opening up and you know being and you guys might be you know the best of friends moving forward and everything so for for a woman enjoying sex and nothing wrong with enjoying sex god made god created sex to be enjoyed God did not create sex to be enjoyed. Okay, so God created sex to be enjoyed. So if whether you're a man, I have friends okay. who don't like sex at all, and I have I have friends who enjoy sex, including me. You know what I mean? I <laughs> 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 so I can so I ask you that question about chasing mm. about chasing. You know what I mean? About chasing. If I if I see somebody I like. And I want you, I'll tell you all. Oh, if he go ahead. Whether it's bubbly, view. whether it's bubbly or not, I'll I'll let you know. Well, well my, my view is twofold. And and to be mm. honest, with you, my view is twofold. Twofold in the sense that um number one, I, I don't say anything wrong with a woman sticking chasing sex. Ike. Chasing Ike. Chasing me. If it's my spec, that's fine. If it's my spec, it's not every woman that chases you that is your spec. 
Exactly, and that's when that's they the turn off. So, turn them off. Yeah. It's the same thing as a woman going after a guy. If it's not the guy's pay, the guy might say no. But I understand where they put off that men are not very comfortable with women who are too forward, especially when it comes to, even in every aspect, not just in sex. Sometimes some men are, because of insecurity, can be very, yeah. you know, they can be very, uh, women who are pushy, they call it pushy or being too forward. Mm. But let's just look at it this way. Another way too, because we have no problem with that. But will you be comfortable if your daughter was to do that? That's the question I ask. What's wrong with it? If my daughter was to do that, am I very comfortable much. with that? Very comfortable. Are you comfortable if my daughter starts yes. going up to every... And my, to, daughter, to, and my daughter has high confidence like me. Hold on. Oh, yeah, she doesn't have a confidence. That's the question. Yeah. So the yeah. same thing that you're talking about, somebody was saying here, yeah, double yes. standard, double standard. Yes. yes. The double standard, most often than not, yes, mm -hmm. there's double standard. Let's just be honest about that. Mm. What my, my son will get out with, I will not necessarily want my daughter to do something. My son and my daughter girls that they go. I don't can think you say I'm that again? My your, my, can you say that my again? Son, I didn't hear what you said. My son yeah. might have two or three or four girlfriends at a go. Mm -hmm. Right? Hey. But this is a case of like father, like son. It's okay. <laughs> but will I be comfortable with my daughter having three or four boys, boyfriends at a go? Mba. Sorry, <laughs> but I will not. You might call it double standard, you might call it whatever you want to call it. It's just a natural instinct for a dad to know, man, more yeah. protective <laughs> over the daughter than, you know what I mean, than the, the son. So if my son comes up to me and says that, well, I have like two girlfriends that I'm dating, I'll be like, okay, <laughs> Bobo, <laughs> well done, you know. I'll, I'll try to keep my own mind. But, uh, you know, I'll be like, we'll make an air. That's what my mind will be going. But my daughter saying the same because thing. Because you don't care about the other person's daughter now. Oh, I didn't say I didn't care. Don't make a name. Don't care. I can, I can, I can. I can say something. That yes. is the essence yeah, of this yeah. discussion today. Exactly. Let's see how do we go away or step away from those reasonable or uh, unreasonable double standards. Okay. Right? So can you just can you just reason it for one minute? Yes. If it's okay for the geese, why is not okay for the ganders? I I must say, listen. I told you. I said it, it's not like. I want it to, but I'm just telling you that the my father instincts will kick in in the sense that this is just me. I'm talking about me. I won't want my daughter to do that. So is that instinct that is affecting us? Yes, because mm -hmm. I won't want my daughter to do that. Because mm. you know why? Do what? Do what? It's, it's do what? Society. Chase three boys or chase one boy? Uh, 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 about. Two boys at the same time. Because of the society we live in. Because of the label she will have. So to carry. are you saying are you saying your your son having three girlfriends is okay? No, you don't understand me. I'm just saying that my son can have three oh, girlfriends. Because that's the excuse, get... that's the example you're giving. No, no, so no. I want I'm to not... know. Yeah, yeah, you would not bother him as much as the daughter doing it. You're not trying to understand what I'm saying. I'm saying that it might be good yeah. for it's right. whatever is good for the geese, good for the gander. But I'm just saying, yeah. for sake of what the environment we right. live in, no. I don't live in. Right. 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 That right. if my son has three or four right. girlfriends, right. he's not going to be treated as he's doing something wrong. But for me, my daughter having those three or four, for her reputation, for her, because of the environment we live in, not because maybe there's something wrong with what she's doing, but the environment we live in will condemn her. And my daughter may not handle I that. I get that. I get that. Yes. And that's why I asked you, are you okay with your son having three girlfriends at the same time? That's no, why I'm I not okay with I, him. I understood him. what you said. I'm not okay with him having three girlfriends okay, at the same time. Okay, that's fine. But so it's equally, not okay equally, for your son to have equally, three girlfriends. I cannot daughter. judge him. I cannot judge okay, him. That's because mm -hmm. I had three girlfriends. Yeah. Of three girlfriends. yeah. I no, I just wanted to know if it was okay for, for your son to have three girlfriends. No. And he said no. no. So if it's not okay for the boys, it's not okay for the girls. But I can't judge him. That's why I said I can't judge him. Because if if I was a time, you know, you were young and you were, you know, some of us were people like Benson were busy sewing their white oats. They had more than more than one or two girlfriends. Benson did girls. not do any, any such thing. Were you there? Like, he that, to speak were you for there? himself. Were you there? Benson has not defended himself. That means you know. Can I hear from Benson on this? Benson, where? what's your view about pushing women? Because we've got, we've got a name for us now. That. No, well, what's your view? Person does not judge anybody. Well, my the, the 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 issue is the issue is very simple. Like maybe I will tend to support a little what I said, then I will deviate. Okay. Now, go ahead. Now, 
now, like for the men, there might not be issues on that. Maybe uh, he has three, four, five girlfriends. But for the women, there is always an issue. Because, you know, when back home, there is this thing they call ajuju. They go to ask questions about, mm. the, about the lady in question that their son wants to marry. Mm. Now, when so they girls go that to, will get married, right? Yes. They go, to, mm. they go to they go to ask questions. Please, this lady, how is she? And you see some people coming out to talk, say negative things. Mm. This one that has men all over her, it's it's like a problem. So that's where I support what I is going to is saying that he might because nobody goes to ask what of the man. Nobody no, 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 we did. I was told one of my suitors likes a lot of women. No, I, no, men, they say that about men too. Who, they Uguta, say that Uguta about... will tell you, yes, no, oh no, true. yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. Okay. So they say so, it about but, men but, too. But, but, but well, okay, some women but... will choose not to, you know, listen, and some will listen. It doesn't, yeah. Okay, okay. But would, that, would that comment discourage you from marrying that man? When I was when I was younger, it wouldn't have because I felt you know what I mean. What? But now, as an older, as a forty-six year, yes, I walk. I would once I hear that, I walk away. Yeah. Wow. Because in Nigeria, growing up, we had that mentality. That's how men. We gave excuses for men. That's how they are. But you know, down the line, you see, you start seeing how it bothers and disturbs your relationship. So now, as an adult, I walk away from it. But then I was like, eh, yeah. Okay. All right. So. So the, 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 whole, the whole thing is just, I don't know. I don't know how to put it. Well, maybe when I get to that bridge, I'm going mm. to cross. All right. I'm Can we have from Ferdinand? Ferdinand, are you free to talk? But I, I, I need to defend myself on what IK is accusing me. What did this? IK is accusing me. No, I, we, we, we know you. We know I you. I was a partner in crime. Let, let, let's Ferdinand put, have a word in this, please. Put in words. Yeah, go on. Okay. Um, the, the question that my sister asked, Oga, Oga, good yes. morning. Good, good afternoon, sir. <laughs> Thanks. Go ahead. I greet everybody. Mm. The question that my sister asked Thank you, was not just was not just about young women. It's not about young women. She she asked about women, both married women and unmarried mm. women, going after men because of their urge, their sexuality. Mm. That's the question yeah. I understand she asked, right? And uh, no, no, no. Her question was on double standard. Mm. Yeah. So it depends yeah. on the context. It depends on the, co the context question was on double from. standard. Did women you, who you, enjoy you, sex, you. women who enjoy sex, and women who chase yeah. guys. Not chasing it in a bad way. Like I see somebody and I go after the person. Yeah. For, the, for the sake of sex, sex, for their sex drive, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the first part of sex drive, yeah. The, the, I, I did, uh, Ferdinand, sorry to help you. I didn't finish it off with as compared to men, but theoretically, that's what we're talking about. Women double that standards, do it, yeah. We know in our head, men do it. So women that do it, how do you see them? What's your view on them? Exactly. Okay. To be honest, to be honest, every human being, both male and female, has the right to express themselves the way they feel. Thank you. We find ourselves in a society that tends to judge the women more than they judge the men, especially here. Mm. We say it's a bad thing. But this is the woman's expression. This is how the woman feels. I'm talking about the people that do not have any medical condition. These are people that, that have this urge. My take on it is if women can decently handle it without making it, you know, look crazy. Public affair. Yeah, without making it a public affair, without making it after all. I mean, who, who are you going to judge? Nobody even knows who does it and who doesn't do it if mm -hmm. they are handled discreetly. Right? I, I will pray. I will pray that maybe they reduce the drive. But I'm not going to completely rule out their 
right, inalienable right to express themselves the way they feel, especially if it is what they like. Exactly. I, I, I'm not in any position, believe me, to, in fact, as a person, as a person, I like to move away from the conventional idea of so men. Somebody reduce the drive. How can you? Yeah, you can't. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Having to be the ones that will chase after women. That's convention. That's traditional, you know. But I mean, the way things are today, things have changed. If you see someone that you like, someone that you are attracted to, someone that you feel can go for it. your drive, go for it. Go for it. Okay. And not, okay. And not okay. wrong with it. Okay. As, as okay. As, okay. So thank as, you. It's as, my turn. As, yeah. You know. mm. All right. Thank all you, right. guys. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ferdinand. IJ, go. Um, all right. Moving along. First of all, I have to go with um, IJ Nutri Tips. And today I'm going to talk about magnesium. Magnesium is a mineral that plays many crucial roles in the body, such as supporting muscle and nerve function and energy production. Low magnesium levels usually don't cause symptoms. However, chronically low levels can increase the risk of high blood pressure, heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and osteoporosis. We should be concerned because magnesium is a very important part of maintaining balance for our hormones, especially hormone and menopause. This includes PMS, dysmenorrhea. PMS is a premenstrual uh, syndrome, though, you know, postmenstrual syndrome or whatever. Um, then this menorrhea, painful periods for people who have like the uh, cramps and everything. then the PCOS, the thyroid conditions, perimenopause, anxiety, adrenal fatigue. In fact, magnesium can even be helpful for weight management. And sources of uh, magnesium are bananas, avocado, almonds, pumpkin seeds, like a goosey, or are foods that are great sources of magnesium, even dark chocolate. So my question is going to be on boundaries. So Personal boundaries are the rules and limits you set within relationships. They tell you what's okay and what's not okay in a relationship. Think about two people in your life and describe the boundaries you have with them. So how are they similar and how are they different? So boundary means when you have a relationship with something, uh, with somebody, like things that are okay and things that are not okay. So my question goes, what challenges have you faced when trying to set healthy boundaries and how did you act? overcome them okay i'm going to ask oj this question because she's a boundary lady she she's over miss miss over boundary so oj can you take this for me first <laughs> what challenges have you faced when trying to set healthy boundaries and how did you overcome them i can't even believe you're doing this to me while I... because you're about because i i have i can't call you after 2 p.m and you can't answer <laughs> after 2 30 p.m so you are miss boundary herself so can you take it for me <laughs> Okay. Um, when it comes to challenges, um, I, of course, I have people, even family members, getting like, like downstairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, getting upset that um, they try to call me on the phone, they can't reach me. It's it's not easy. It's not easy. But at the end of the day, the older you get, the more you tilt towards doing something for your own benefit. Okay. Mm -hmm. I said to myself, I didn't want to always have palpitations when my phone rang. I decided to have a window when my phone should ring. But talking about the kind of boundaries we're talking about today, okay? It's a case of um, if you and I are talking or chatting or whatever, and um, the chat starts tilting to one side, I just zone out. Mm. You understand? I try to subtly tell you this is not what we're talking about. I'll do it in a funny and playful way. But if you're not hearing me, I've had to block some people times without number. And then they'll be the ones to say, oh, what's going on? Now, what did I do? I said, but I told you that let us stop here. Mm. So, I mean, I don't encroach in your space. So if you are also trespassing and I let you know, you should be, um, you should respect me and respect the relationship enough to say, okay, this is how she wants it. It's different if I'm playing along, if I'm, I'm flirting with you, if it's a neutral thing, because there are people that will flirt with you from now to next year. And that's as far as it goes. Mm -hmm. You understand? They know that they are not interested in having anything extra, but they enjoy it. I have an auntie who is like that. I'm like that too. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, but that they are flirting with you doesn't, it's not a green light. So people should also be able to see 
that okay, this is this person is just flirtatious and she likes it and that's it. Oh, you buzzer. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't have the stamina, especially when I know that, because I won't tell lies. There are people you see and you just click. There are people that, you know, you don't even know effort, no extra thing, but you have this connection and you enjoy talking to them. Okay. So let it be that I tell you that it is only talk I came to talk to. So if you, if you are going that extra mile, I take drastic measures. That is when the misboundary thing comes to the fore. I can go as far as blind, block you everywhere, block you on the express. I'm, I'm, I'm totally, I'm totally opposite from you. Uh, me and mom are, are like more in common when it comes to, I don't have any, so if I call you my friend, sister, brother, you can walk into my house anytime. And I feel if I'm passing your street, I can just come out and pee pee in Okwayao. You know what I mean? I'm that, I'm that, I'm not the kind of person that uh, believes that you have to call me to come to my house. Like, hmm. Once I consider you friend, family, my house is always open. Like, if I'm not there, if I'm not there, my family, you anybody who's home can open the door for you. Yeah, I can, I'm that house. kind of person, yeah. You guys can come to my house at any time and I don't care. It they were sure. No, it they no, were no. sure because so you see us now. Let, let, let me explain. Let me explain because I know face. that I wouldn't have to take care of either of you. Mm-hmm. Okay, when you <laughs> because we enter your fridge and steal yes. your stuff, you enter the kitchen, enter the freezer, do as you like, and it doesn't mean anything to me. When I mean, even if you vex, we will not care. Thank you. But when I get all you know, um, edgy and you know, I'm trying to be careful, and I'm like, oh, this person didn't tell me. Like, I was even telling uh, my kids, I said, one thing why it looks because they asked me sometime this week my son was my first son was like you're just something else you don't visit and you really don't like visitors i said who told you i don't like visitors you don't he said that i'm your son i know of when, course when guests come the moment to take care of them you've retreated to your room and you he's 20 something so he knows you enough <laughs> <laughs> you leave them with daddy you know and i said that's because i feel responsible so if a guest is coming and I am, I don't have things in place, it bothers me. Normally it shouldn't. Okay. And you know, their father travels often. And when he travels, I don't care. Everybody mm-hmm. eats what they like. So if I now hear that someone is coming, it unsettles me. I can't help it. Um, so I feel that as my guest, you should be able to feel okay. Even if you say, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'm like, hey. I don't know, would he eat okazi soup? Does he eat vegetable soup? But normally, guess too, I you know. You see, those things don't bother me. I say, I don't have food though. I have curry. You want so curry. <laughs> oh, I have yeah. not. Whatever I have, you oh, eat. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> so, um, it's not, um, anyway, we are all different. And I think that's why we collaborate to succeed. That's mm-hmm. good. Okay, thank you so much. All right, let me ask somebody else. Uche Aleno, are you there? Uche, can you talk? Okay. Um, Joyous Praise, can you talk? I asked you a question. Oh, you asked a question? question I want to ask you a question. Oh, go ahead, babe. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, it didn't bother you my first visit to your house that you didn't give me food. You said, Peter, go and make Indomie if you want to. And then uh-huh. she didn't my... You went to bed to... and pretend to... Okay, that people Hello, like you guys, I, I don't care. care. That's Hello, I'm sorry. <laughs> Somebody called you Charlena. It's me. It's me. Hi. Oh. Um, hi, you too. How are you? Welcome to the show. <laughs> hi, you all right? Yeah. I have a question for you. We're talking about boundaries in relationships. Okay. Yeah. What challenges have you faced when trying to set uh, healthy boundaries and how did you overcome them? If you are somebody who likes boundaries, I don't so. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not too particular about boundaries. That there, there are some, you know areas which I can actually say these are my no-go areas and at times it's a bit difficult you know especially when it has to do with your family members you feel maybe you're being very restrictive you know towards them maybe setting that boundary but I think every boundary is safe for the papers if it's one that we kind of um um hi I think you're yeah, you, I've caught the call. Okay. Oh, I was okay. getting a call, yeah. So if it's one that's going to maybe kind of jeopardize your security or whatever you're trying to protect, then it's important that you do that. 
However, um, like I said, I'm not particular about boundary, but growing up before now, to be honest, I used to be very boundary. Um, oh, yes. yes, and boundary focused. So, but one thing happened, I used to be very, I have to have, I used to have boundary with my siblings. So- What kind of boundaries I, did you have with them? Like, these are my things, yeah? Nobody touches them. And if you wow. must touch them, you have to get consent. You have to tell me. You can't just go and use my thing. So um, along the line, my brother, he was a bit, uh, he's a naughty boy. So he went to use my thing without knowing, uh, without telling me. So he put it back. So because I know how I arranged my thing, I came back and I said, somebody has used that. He said, Nobody said, he didn't turn up. So I said, okay, I'm going to set it on fire. <laughs> So that was when he said, oh, no. You're like my I, mom. My mom did that to me because I took her away. She said she'll burn all my clothes. Exactly. So, you know, at least when I brought the clothes, it's a, it's a top of mine. I brought it. I brought a gallon of crazy and I said, I'm going to burn it. He quickly rushed and picked that top up. You know? yeah. He said, it's not even burning. Let me have it. I said, okay, fine. Now it's you. You're the culprit. So after that, I was oh, like. Oh, that's how you found out who. Yes. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. So I wasn't going to burn it actually. I wasn't. Oh, okay. yeah. So after that, I kind of am um, losing up a bit. So even till now, I can't keep so so much boundaries. That if it's boundary about my children, their upkeep and their safety, yes, I can compromise that. But okay. generally, yeah, I'm not like too fussy about boundary. But boundaries are supposed to be kept, especially in this kind of um, what's it called profession we are in. For you to actually keep people safe and be able to give them the right treatment, you have to establish some boundaries and make sure that they don't push against the boundary, which they really try to. But if you're assertive and firm and tell them in the implication of you know not keeping the boundaries, I think they will understand. And that is the only boundary I say that is, is very important to me. And that is it. All right, thank you. Um, Ferdinand, can you talk? Yeah. Sorry, um, AJ, yeah, I can talk. Oh, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Hi, welcome to the show. Hiya, uh, this is Joyful Praise. Yes, oh, yeah, um, I called you earlier, yeah. Yeah, I was, by the time I wanted to answer, I think Uche or somebody just answered, so I kept quiet. Yeah, so when it comes to boundaries, um, yes, when I was growing up, I kind of didn't put much boundaries in place. But one of the um, obstacles I face when it regards boundaries is that people tend to overstep boundaries. So with time, I found out that it's good to kind of put a bit of boundaries in place, not necessarily be rigid, but a bit of boundaries in place, especially when it comes to family members. If you don't put boundaries in place, they will override you. But when they know that there is a bit of boundaries in place, they would, it just, the boundaries are pulled now is just to- Are you talking to about family. financial boundary when it comes to family members? Yeah, when it comes to financial boundaries, I put in place, I'm not gonna um, put other people before me. I've done that in the past. Mm -hmm. And after you've kind of done all those ones, people have come back to you and say, what, what do you think that you have done that another person has not done? Mm -hmm. And um, I remember that a um, few years ago, not a few years ago about, a decade ago, my elder sister kind of approached me and said, oh, oh, girl, please help me. I know you've got a good credit. You can help me to get a loan of 10,000 pounds. And I'm like, yeah, 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 that's fine. That's so long as you're going to be putting the money in my account, then I can pay off the loan before this. I said, because of my good credit, this is what they've given. They've actually given a very good rate. Fast forward. As soon as it, then I was doing it, she was beside me and she was like, oh, they approved it. Why don't you make it 20? Ah. Foolish me. I agreed 20. The first month she paid. By second month, she said, wait in safe. Ah, uh, now your money. Not be. <laughs> wait your credit. That's how people are. It's not your money. No, we, after all, it's, it's a loan. I called everyone that you can think of in the family. No one could resolve it. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I had to pay money that I never spent, not even one dime. And since then, I made up my mind that when yeah. it comes to boundaries with regards to financial boundaries, I have to put it in place. 
Not That's an inferno. He bought the person yeah. bought you. Yeah. I don't I don't care who is hot, mm-hmm. but I have to put in place. If I don't have, I don't have. I'm not gonna borrow for anybody. And so those are the things that when it comes to other boundaries, especially with regards to the opposite sex, one thing I've discovered that when you don't put boundaries in place, even though when people know you are married, they're still gonna stay overstep their boundaries. So I always say, like people like uh, Nena, I can call her one AM and she must pick that call. And if she calls me, I must pick the call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes we can chat all the way till about oh, one. Oh, you call her Nena. Yeah, we call her Nena. You, yeah, but I know it's for my but we, I, I prefer to call her Nena. Um, Nena makes but, her look responsible. Yes, please. Yes. No, even with that, she's not. She I can be not real. I, I've tried everything, my sister. I have, to, I have to create a boundary for both of you. So what are they? I'm boundary yes, like Saka. You can't catch So with that, if you don't put boundaries in place with regards to some people calling you, some people don't even have a rapport with you, especially the ones on Facebook. They, those ones are mad set of people. Somebody oh, I, don't have, I don't people. have Facebook Messenger because of that. Like you know, everybody people you have never spoken to, and you get people call you with video call. And I'm wondering, who gave you the audacity to even call me with video call when I've never spoken to you? You're not my friend. You're nothing to me. So sometimes boundaries are necessary. But not make don't make the boundaries too rigid, so that yeah. you. So it depends on the people in play. But generally, I would appreciate it. I would advocate for boundaries to be put in place, but not a rigid. Like uh, this is how it is. Don't touch my toothpick. Don't touch my lipstick. Don't touch this. There's nothing you come in this world with, and there's nothing you will go with. That's All right, my. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay. If I'm, I know time is up, but I need to ask um, Ferdinand, I can know, and as and why, if they're still here. I have my hand up. Um, you ignored me. Oh, no, no, go, go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. No, I didn't see go ahead. No, go ahead. Go I've, ahead. Set, I've set one boundary, and that boundary is I do not take four video calls after 8 p.m. because my face would have gone, my eyelashes, wig, everything off. So I don't want to put the face on again. So after 8 p.m., Nobody should call me on a video call because I've got an idiot. You are an idiot. <laughs> For saying that, you I are an idiot. No club today. You are an idiot. Who needs your makeup? Thank you. Okay. Um, as the wife says, she can talk. Um, Ferdinand, I have a question. As a global, um, Ferdinand is our global president, and if former man OJ refused to donate to our solar panel thing, so they are here. Um, <laughs> Ferdinand, as a global president of an alumni association, I know you you always traveling, meeting uh, different people and everything. Is is boundary an issue? Like, do you face boundary issues? Or I know you are like a people person or something like that, but do you have issues with boundary with people since you meet a lot of people and everything? Like, yes, yes, I do. As a matter of fact, first of all, I, nobody enters my hotel room. You know, sometimes. You know, because who my they are not. No, Sorry, even men and okay. women don't enter my hotel rooms. Oh wow! The, the reason is this: it, it can create scandal. Sometimes, sometimes people can misconstrue your motives or your intentions, and then when they see somebody coming out of your hotel room, I mean, you have done something. You understand what I'm saying? So, wherever we go to, wherever I am. I don't let anybody, male and female, to enter my hotel room. That's what my boundary as far as the alumni association is concerned. Oh, that's beautiful. Right? Yes, it is. And, and, and I have kept that on for the past four years. But that's, that's about the yeah, alumni association. As, as a person, as a person, I, I have free spirit. And uh, the only thing is that my, my father taught me that don't go to borrow money to please anybody. Yes. Don't go to borrow money to please me as your father, to please your mother, to please your wife, to please your children. Don't. Because you may not be able to pay back. So cut your coat according to your size. What mm-hmm. I have done is to cut my coat according to my size. So the boundary that I have created for my life is to cut my coat according to my size. No, to your clothes. I got, I got to your clothes. Yes, according to my club. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so right. Thank you, Vincent. Thank you, my leader. All right. 
Sorry. Another boundary. Let me, let me say this. Let me say this. It's important for me to say it. Maybe I've been keeping it in my heart for a very long time. Maybe in the last 18 years. My wife, my wife and I don't go to each other's phones. Now let me that tell you, good. when I got when I got married, when I got married to her, I told her this marriage can last if we don't go to each other's phones. Not because uh -uh. of what bad thing that I'm going to do or what bad thing you are going to do. But because of the tendency for things to crop up, even when you are yes. not looking. Exactly. You see, Ndi will say that I don't have to cough. 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 Exactly. That's the problem. That's the problem. That's the problem. So, um, that understanding has been, and that, that thing was transferred to my children. My phone has not been spoiled before by my children. They are grown ups now, they have their own phones now, but while they were kids, I never allowed them, their mother even never allowed them to touch my phone, you know, like playing games or doing anything. So, our phones have remained intact. And so, these boundaries we have created them and they have helped us, you know, that's, that's about that. Uh, well, well, uh, on that aspect, I think I, I, I need to differ from you from that aspect. Mm -hmm. My, my That's wife it. have my wife have my email password. My wife have my phone password. She knows how to. Unlock Remember, I have not seen you send send an email, back, So forget that one. You said. You know they send email. So what did they go there? No, 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 but no, no. But my I wife, said but, my wife has my my said, wife has I my have, pin. I have my wife email. has my pin. My my. Uh, a POS pin, my no, no, my that, ATM no, pin. No, 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 that, 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 no, no. But I'm no, telling no. you about, Fair, about that, 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 that's, that's different from what I'm saying. What I, I'm I saying don't like people going. I don't like people going to each other's uh, other people's phone. To yeah, me, it doesn't no, make no, no, no. So. Sometimes, see, see. Sometimes it might be important that she she gets something out from it. Like what? Like there are okay. There are, you might you might be somewhere. And you don't or you have, have shared documents. If it's wait, shared document, it's a document to share wait, it. Wait, then you might be somewhere, and you needed something from either your inbox to be forwarded to you. It doesn't make you. me a bad man, no. No, I, I'm telling make, you, no, no, it's, 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 no, 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 it's your, it's your, no, it's your. All right, we are going. We are running it. We are seven minutes oh. over. It's your, it's your, uh, it's your, it's your agreement with her. I don't have a problem with that. But I'm telling you that me. My password, oh, my phone password, oh, my email password, oh, she knows all of them. My Facebook password, she knows all of them. Bimbe, and can... then the which of the phones, which of the for Facebook? Because oh, I have three Facebook. Did, did, which one did you give her? I have, I have only Baby, one. Baby, all of them or just one? Baby, on, on, she, she has three I, accounts. I have, I have only one. I have only one. Oh, Baby. Baby. I have only oh, one friend. I like, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I want to say something. No. Yeah, before you read up, I just want to say something. Look, both of you, both Ferdinand and, and Benson, have a point. But why is it why? Some of us learn from experience. I, yeah. When I was married, my ex, I left my phone open. I, I never locked, I didn't know what it was to lock phone. My phone was just for text and, you know. But I learned the hard way, the hard way that it was better for me to mm. lock my phone. <laughs> that way. Because what happened was that when she goes through my phone, if she sees any number or any lady, it doesn't matter whether the lady said hello, I was banging that lady. <laughs> if the lady said, ah, you know, uh, I you remember the appointment tomorrow. Insecurity. Ah, Insecurity. Insecurity. So you mm. have to know exactly. the person you are dealing with. So, but, and when I realized that, because it, during the next time that mm. what she now did was one of my I was doing a research project at work, very intense research project, and I told her about it and she knew I was busy doing it. The lady who was in charge, one of the my office, she's the one was 65 years old, and but she was still working and she was helping me do the research because it was a very you know very kind of confusing research. So she would come, she gave me her cell phone number for a white lady, she gave me her cell phone number. I said, Ike, anytime you need help, call me. So I'll call her, you know, at any point I'll call her. So my ex went through and saw those numbers, you know, constant numbers. And she called the number and left, left a very nasty email, uh, message, very nasty message. You know, the typical Nigerian woman mouth, leave my husband, da, 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 da. 
I went to work. The, the lady called me and said, hey, hey, can you come swim to my office? So I said, okay, yeah, yeah. So I went to her office, thinking it was something. She said, can you sit down? I sat down. She said, is anything wrong with your wife? I'm like, what are you talking about? I thought something happened. She said, she played the voicemail for me. Ah, oh, I felt like <laughs> you know, entering the ground. I felt yeah. like entering the ground. I was so mm -hmm. embarrassed. I was so embarrassed. I went home and I said to her, I never used to work my phone because there was nothing. But since this is the case, I love my friend. I said, never you bought a bad luck. You bought a bad luck after that. And, and I said, look at what you've done. <laughs> a woman that is 65 years old, you know, look at what you've done because of your insecurities. So I can understand somebody saying, you know what? I lock my phone. Don't touch it. Don't go near it. It's not a matter of trust. It's a matter of the fact that you just want to have your peace. So I, I understand that. But Ben, ben Benson, for, let me tell you something also. Some men will leave their phone for their wives, and the wives will think, I have friends who have two phones. One for the house, one is kept in the office. So I've, 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 things, I've, I've, I've always used one phone. I've never yeah, but had What I'm saying is this. Before. It's a matter of the way you look at it. It's well trust. It's a matter of... No, what I'm saying, you yeah. see, not that, not that sometimes their insecurity don't come up. Sometimes yeah. their insecurity come up, even if you allow the phone with them. Even if you allow the phone with them, sometimes the insecurity still come up. I can give you, I can give you the, I can give you this scenario. On the money, guys, can we round up and go offline and continue on the overtime? And sorry, ladies, I know I've got your hands up, but you, you have a chance to speak. Thank you very much, everyone, for being a part of today's show. It is very important to find the best way to clear those boundaries and double standards is a problem. Whether we agree or not is a problem. Whether it's being stemmed out of our instinct or tradition or it has always been, my dad told me that I'm living by it. How is it benefiting us? If it's good for you, it's good for the other person. We are human beings. So, and again, very crucial one, that someone is married does not mean they stop being your friend or they stop benefiting from you as a friend. Exactly. Please help who you can help. Even if they want to use it for ice cream, it doesn't matter. It must not be to, to solve a problem, take somebody to the hospital. Gift, 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 if you can, it doesn't matter if it's somebody's wife. Somebody's wife is still your friend. Somebody's wife is still a young woman. It doesn't matter, somebody's husband is still a young person, is just a, is still a young man and still your friend. Anybody that is in need that you need to help, please do so. No ulterior motives, remember? By the time you start exchanging, the gift start exchanging hands with another business, then that's the ulterior motive. We know the Ocho Kitchen, no day for that one, no. Clear mind gift. Uh -huh. That's what we're proposing. No double standards. If you can do for A, do for B, it doesn't matter. If you have exactly. the energy and the balls, go for it. You love them. Tell the woman you love them, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. They can be your friend the next day. Thank of you. Course. And sit back for the overtime. I may be disappearing because I'm going for the Igbo Gala night in London. But I'm still here. Bye. Love you. I right, love you guys.